The executive council meeting opened with a speech of the chairperson of the commission, Mosa Faki Mahamat. This is his first summit since assuming office five months ago. And already he wants to work in promoting peace in the continent. And he says it is vital to have a new approach. The new forms of violence have shown the, van the vanity of traditional modes of promoting peace. A new approach is therefore necessary. The second teaches us that no violent crisis in Africa will be resolved by arms. Dialogue, reconciliation, and the search for consensual solutions is the only path to peace. This year, the African Union has decided to hold its summits under the theme Harnessing the Demographic Dividend by Investing on the Youth. The acting executive secretary of the UN Economic Commission for Africa, Abdullah Hamdok, said Africa should keep its promises and engage in youth benefiting activities across its borders. Africa today, the youngest region of the world, this provides the opportunity for demographic dividend. It also presents the risk of souring rates of youth unemployment if it is not tackled well. Therefore, getting the fundamentals right is the first step to harnessing Africa's demographic dividend and must be supported by targeted policies, actions that foster investment in the youth. The AU reform is what is high on the agendas of these foreign ministers. They want to deliver a very concrete implementation plan of the reform for the heads of state to adopt. A dynamic impetus was imprinted to the reform process. All these abundant activities on the reform make us optimistic. The train has left the station. However, it is urgent to propose to our heads of state and government concrete measures to speed up the process and to make them robust so that uh, the year 2018 in the history of organization be that of its reform, its second renaissance. Experts suggest the development of effective plan to mitigate the problem of migration is vital in Africa. Through this plan, leaders want to put an end to the death and suffering of Africans while attempting to look for a greener pasture. The African Union also wants its member states to speak with one voice in continental and international arenas. Taking the recent success of making Dr. Tedros Adhanom the first African Director General of the World Health Organization, as an example, Chairperson Mosa Faki Mohammed said Africa must continue to stand as one. And he says that is the only way for the continent to achieve its dreams sooner than later. Group Dallas CGTN at the African Union headquarters in Addis Ababa.